I was watching a person drown just before my eyes. He's looking at me like, you know, help me. I have to get there, I have to get there, I cannot fail. I joined the Coast Guard 10 years ago. It's been an incredible experience ever since. One of my favorite things is just going out and being able to help people. It's just something I've seen my dad do his entire military career, which is something that I model after. And it doesn't matter if I'm in uniform or not. Nice, beautiful day, you know, steady breeze. Just a normal, you know, Sunday afternoon, just hanging out at the beach. I was sitting at the beach and I looked out into the ocean and I saw three men that were struggling to stay afloat. One of them started to drown, he started to go underwater. I just, without even a thought, you know, just ran down to the water. I, you know, grabbed a boogie board and then I just started making my way out to them. The guy that was barely holding himself up above water, I grabbed him first really quick and pulled him towards me onto the boogie board. I, I was shaking, I had tears in my eyes. My biggest thing was I cannot fail. I cannot fail, I gotta get this guy back to the beach safely. It was a relief, you know, to watch them reunite with their families and the kids and, you know, their significant others. I mean, that was a huge relief for me, just like, okay, they're okay, and, you know, now they get to go home. I feel like had she have not been there, that somebody could have lost a father, um, a brother, an uncle. Um, so it was really nice to see that, you know, that moment when the family gathered and, and they were all hugging. It made me extremely proud of her um, because she's such a selfless human being. I think that anyone in the Coast Guard would have reacted the same way that I did um, to go out and help somebody. That's just what we do in our service.